Hi, this is Chris Davis of Slash Gear, and I'm here at Nokia World on day two with the Nokia Lumia 800, the company's new flagship Android, um, flagship Windows phone, I should say, and the Samsung Galaxy S2, uh, still considered a, a flagship Android smartphone. And we thought we'd do a side-by-side -side browser test. So, just so you know that we're not uh, fooling you, we'll go in and clear out the cache on both of them. Uh, so, we'll just do uh, settings. Delete history, and I should point out that we are using the same Wi Fi network. Uh, where are we here? Uh, clear. Okay, there we go. Um, yep, same Wi Fi network on both phones, so the speed should be the same. So it should give us a, an idea of um, what each phone can do if we go to, say, something like the Slash Gear homepage. So we will go. And then if we press go at the same time, now the Windows Phone there brought up the mobile, certainly the mobile page of the Slash Gear homepage there a lot quicker. We shall go down to the bottom because we can choose the standard browser view and see how that compares. And it's worth considering that the, uh, the Nokia here has a single core uh, processor, Qualcomm S2, uh, Snapdragon S2, running at uh, 1.4 gigahertz. The Samsung has a dual core uh, Exynos uh, 1 gigahertz processor. Um, and the, you certainly got a lot more of the Slash Gear homepage on the Samsung a lot quicker. The, uh, you know, the stories were there, the text was there. Um, neither's actually quite finished loading yet, but um, we're getting there. Oh no, uh, the Samsung is finished loading. Uh, the Nokia still hasn't quite got there. Um, though, again, you can read both of them. Uh, that's just finished now. And in terms of opening a, a story, so let's tap and go in. Um, Samsung got there a whole lot quicker. Nokia's still loading. Both phones support things like uh, double tap to resize for the text. Uh, it's pinch zooming. And if we that's as far in as we can go. See, um, both have wide VGA screens. Obviously, there's a 3.7 inch on the Nokia and a 4.3 inch on the Samsung. Um, and once you're in the page, you know, both scroll pretty quickly. Uh, it's worth noting that uh, this is uh, the Android browser here is uh, running with Flash turned on. No. So that first browser test was done with uh, Flash on demand on uh, the Galaxy S2. Uh, obviously the um, Nokia Windows Phone at the moment doesn't support Flash, so we're going to go in and turn not only clear the cache on both of them, but we're going to make sure that Flash is turned off completely. When it's on demand, basically you can tap to uh, load uh, any flash animations, that kind of thing. Just delete the history on both. Go back. And now, again, we'll go back to, oh, uh, this time we'll go to Android Community. Android Community.com. And the same on here. Android Community. And press the buttons at the same time. I should again point out that both of these phones are uh, working off the same uh, wireless network, Wi Fi. Um, and obviously, you can read the content on both of it at the same time, uh, but neither's finished loading quite yet. Um, let's go into the second. Again, one, uh, one gigahertz dual core processor in the Samsung. Uh, there's a oh, so the the Nokia with its 1.4 gigahertz single core did finish just a, a second or so before. Uh, we'll go into uh, an article and see how quickly that loads. So you can certainly read a lot more of the uh, the page on Samsung's browser at first. Um, so obviously uh, the standard stock Android browser. Um, and then both pages sort of take another few seconds after that for you to then read uh, the roughly kind of at the same time. I think the Samsung maybe beat it just fractionally ahead. Um, so I'm going to try, for instance, the Slash Gear page. Uh, again, this is with Flash uh, turned completely off on the Android browser. Okay.
That's fine. Go into here and then just do a load test on the page. So we've obviously got the full Slash Gear page there on the Android phone. Uh, and we're taken to the full Slash Gear page here on the Nokia. So generally, slightly faster to load on the Android device if we're talking about the page fully loading in terms of actually getting to somewhere where you can read uh, the text. Um, we have better results, uh, faster, quicker loading pages on the uh, Android device as well. Uh, and both support, obviously, you pinch zoom and you touch and scan. So that's the new Nokia Lumia 800 here at Nokia World 2011.